Hey, Ryan Dice here from drivingtraffic.com, and I want to show you kind of a little sneaky way to get around some of these quality score issues that we're having with Google AdWords. For those of you, if you're, if you're doing Google AdWords, and if you've been smacked, if you've had Google uh, raise your bids up to $5 a click or even $10 a click, more than likely it's because of these quality score issues. It's because Google looked at your landing page and they said that, no, we don't really think that the ads that you're bidding on are relevant to that particular landing page. So what I want to show you, how you can, what you can do here, and I said it's a little bit sneaky, really, it's, that's kind of just being cool marketing talk. It's not that sneaky at all because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Google's own keyword tool to help us find our keywords. And here's the biggie. If we use Google's own keyword tool to tell us which keywords are relevant to our site, chances are good that they're going to pass the quality score test. Because again, Google's looking at our site. They're saying, okay, here are the keywords that we feel are relevant to your site. And let me show you exactly how we do this. All right. Let's say I'm going to go into the ClickBank marketplace and um, I'm in the health and fitness category and the remedy subcategory, if you want to follow along. And we'll check out this panic attack book here. So here's a site about panic attacks. Let's say this is my site. It's not. Let's say it is. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this, the, their domain name here. And here's why I'm going to do it. All right. So we're back here at the Google keyword tool. And you can see, you know, this isn't, this is a totally free tool. You don't even have to have a Google AdWords account to use this. Um, here's the website right now. AdWords.Google, yada, yada, yada. If you can't find it, just do a search in Google for Google Keyword Tool. I can assure you they do, in fact, rank their own keyword tool number one in Google. So a lot of people are familiar with this keyword tool, and they use it all the time, and they'd come here and they type in something like, you know, panic attacks. And they, you know, click get keyword ideas, and then Google would give them a whole bunch of keyword ideas based on the primary keyword panic attacks. So that's one way to do keyword research but it's not the best way to do keyword research. Let me show you this other little tool that Google has, and it's right here. I don't know why nobody really notices it. I didn't notice it. I had to have a good buddy of mine, Perry Belcher, was the guy who told me about this, so kudos, Perry. Thank you. Um, but you click here on this website content thing, and you actually type in the URL of the web page. It can be your web page, or it can be an affiliate web page. So if you're just promoting somebody else's website as an affiliate, you type their URL into this page, into this link right here. Again, we're just at the Google Keyword Tool. We clicked on the website content button. We entered in the URL that we're promoting. We're going to say get keyword ideas. Now, what's happening right now, you see these little balls bouncing back and forth. That's Google going out there, and they, they sent their spiders to this site right here. They sent their sites right here to panicportal.com, and they told their spiders, okay, look at the site and figure out what keywords are relevant to it. And, and look, check this out. Google has gone, they have checked out that site, reviewed it, and they have said that all of these keywords are relevant to that particular site. So there's no guessing going on here. Google is telling you, they're telling you, we've looked at your site, these are the keywords that we feel are relevant. So you're not gonna have any quality score issues. If you use these keywords, Google's not gonna come along and slap you because they're the ones that told you to use them, okay? So, you know, and, and just look at some of these. I mean, these are some pretty good keywords. We got, you know, and, and they also, the nice thing about it is they, they order them for you. So we got keywords related to panic attack. If you go down here, we have fear of. So different ideas for panic attack. I mean, they're doing a bulk of the keyword research for me. This is pretty cool. It helps me find some kind of niches within the niche. Stress relief, uh, stress. So they're breaking it down, but look at this again. Google has gone to the site and they have said all of these keywords are related to that particular site. And you just click the add button and you can add them to your particular campaign. But look, it, it gets even better, all right? So you can see here, this particular keyword, Google actually tells me how high the advertiser competition is. So you can see this box is all the way full, this whatever bluish green color, let's call it aqua. Um, and this panic attacks, as you would expect, has a very high advertiser competition. And it has a pretty good search volume. So what we want to find is we want to find these keywords that don't have high competition, but do have a high average search volume. Let's see if we can find these. This panic attack causes, this one's not bad. It's, it's about half, uh, and the traffic's not bad either. 
Now, check out some of these. Look at this one. A Fear of Heights. Very low advertiser competition, but it gets a decent amount of traffic. Fear of Time. I don't know why you would fear time, but some people do. Fear Clowns. I know clowns freak me out. Um, but just, you know, as you go through these, you, you start to find that, you know, wow, there's a lot of keyword phrases here that don't have very high advertiser competition that do get a decent amount of searches. So that's kind of how this works. But again, this is just a nice little side benefit. The competition versus the search volume, that's a nice little side benefit. They have some other tools up here. Whoops. They have some other tools up here that you can use in the show and hide columns. You can actually uh, show as, uh, you know, average cost per click. So you can come in here and you can type in, oh, I don't know, a buck. And Google will actually tell you, you know, if you want to rank high, here's what it's on average going to cost you. Now, you know, you, you can question the accuracy of these numbers all you want. I personally don't look at it that much. I'm not really concerned about it. I'm going to go ahead and try them all. There's no risk. Google is saying these are relevant, okay? So if you want a very quick and easy way to get around the whole Google slap thing, this is a good way to do it. Now, uh, uh, let me go ahead and because I know people are going to are going to say, you know, Ryan, this isn't going to work forever. You know, don't BS us. Here's the deal. Eventually, especially if you are direct linking, so especially if you are sending traffic from a Google ad to an affiliate site. So let's say I wanted to promote this panic attack portal. Where to go? There it is. Let's say I wanted to promote this panic attack portal as an affiliate and I wanted to send traffic directly from Google AdWords into panic attack portal. Now, I could do it using these particular keywords, and even though I'm promoting it as an affiliate, even though I'm sending it through an affiliate link, I'm going to be okay for a good while because, again, Google has said these are the keywords that are relevant. It's very cool. Now, again, I just I want to be clear. I don't, I don't want to BS you guys. So I will say that eventually a human reviewer is going to go and they're going to look at this website. And if they see that you are promoting it through an affiliate or link or doing you know some redirecting and they don't like it, they might come back. They could very well, very easily come back and increase your bids anyway. So I'm not going to say that this is a permanent solution. I'm not going to say that this is a permanent business model um, if you want to go back and start doing Google Cash again, okay? What it does do, though, is it buys you time, all right? And this is what I show some of my students how to do. And this is actually a big component in my first 1,000 program, which down below this video, you should see a link to it if you're interested in um, in making your first 1000 online and finally getting started, this is one of the primary things that I teach my students because I don't believe that you should go into a market blind and I don't believe that you should just create a product and then hope that it sells. What I like to do is I like to promote products as an affiliate, all right? I like to piggyback off of the work that other people do. So let's say I wanted to go into the panic attack market. Let's say I wanted to give it a shot. Rather than create a product, okay, I'm going to set up one of these what I call 10 day mini businesses, all right? A 10 day mini business. And I'm gonna go into ClickBank. I'm gonna find an affiliate product that looks good, that seems to sell. I'm gonna promote it as an affiliate. So go in here, you can get an affiliate account, get your hop link. And then I'm gonna let Google tell me, using their own keyword tool, the ads, the, I'm sorry, the keywords that are relevant to the site that I wanna promote as an affiliate. And so I can go out there, I can generate some traffic to the affiliate site. If I make some sales, great then maybe I'll consider going into that market. If I don't make any sales or if I can't really get any traffic, I'm not even going to bother. But the thing is, there's no real risk on my part. So when we talk about using Google Keyword Tool to do the research for you, even if it's not a permanent solution, even if it's not a permanent business model, what it does do is it buys you time to do market testing. It buys you time to go out there, test new markets. You can try, you know, literally this week you can test 50 new markets using this method because Google's doing all the work for you. You're piggybacking off of Google and you're piggybacking off of other people using their affiliate program. So that's the model. That's how the first 1000 program works. And, um, you know, whether you are interested in getting started with your own business, you know, you want some help uh, from me, or if you just are an active AdWords advertiser and you want to utilize the strategy, either way, I hope that you found it helpful. And um, if you are at the point where you want to get started, you haven't really done anything online, you're ready to get your first product up and running quickly, and you're ready to make your first thousand online in your own online business, then go ahead, click on the link below this, and you can check out what I have coming up later on next week. All right, I will talk to you all later. Thank you.